You've got a couple of brews that you don't know what to do with. What to mix with what, what to put in where There's no need to fret because there's someone here to help you He's not just a man, he's an idiot too The cocktail idiot Yes, it's the cocktail idiot It's cocktail time with your host, me, Jonty, the cocktail idiot And... And me And we're going to do Georgie's favourite classic cocktail today, aren't we? You're my favourite Which is called, Georgie... Cosmopolitan. The Cosmopolitan, that's right. Do you want to hear the history of the Cosmopolitan? Yeah. So, yeah. as with most classics, there's many variations of the history. So, I'm going to tell you the one that is my most favourite. Mm. Why are you looking at me like that? Well, I think we're all very keen to have the drink, so, you yeah, know, it's fine. Oh, OK. Right. We'll talk about <laughs> wasting people's time then. <laughs> so, the, the Cosmopolitan was the poster, poster boy cocktail of the sort of 80, 90, 1980s, 1990s cocktail revival. And the story goes that, one story goes, that it was created by Cheryl Cook, because this woman, who potentially is fictional, but she might be real, um, she realised that people were becoming very um, fondant, not fondant. Fond? Very fond <laughs> of the martini glass. But they weren't so fond of the martini. I hate the martini. Yeah, I know you do. But they found that having the martini glass made them look very sophisticated at their sophisticated parties That's and made them look drink. posh and proper. So they were ordering a martini for the martini glass. So Miss Cheryl thought, I know, I'm going to put a drink in the martini glass that people actually <laughs> like. Genius, she is. Absolute genius. And that was sort of the first creation of the Cosmopolitan. From there, so that had um, vodka, it had triple sec, it had a rose lime cordial, and it had, um, a, uh, what's that called? Cranberry juice. Cranberry. Cranberry juice, which is basically a Cosmopolitan. What then happened was a well, they took bartender. away some of those ingredients, no? No, 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 no. So... Then in New York, so Cheryl Cole, um, Cook, sorry, was in Florida. Toby, I can't, I'm going to have to read his name because I can't remember. Ceci Heine, Ceci Heine? I think it's best you just say Toby. Toby. Right. Our good friend Toby, who is a well-known bartender. <clears throat> then I took it in New York in his bar and he's sort of the one who's then credited with creating the Cosmopolitan because he, he basically just upgraded it. He went, absolute citron vodka. He went... Upgraded the triple sec with a bit of Contro. Contro. He then got rid of the cordial and put in some fresh lime and kept Do with the Do you know cranberry. what this sounds like an example of to me? Whether this woman was fictional or not. She's not bloody fictional, she was a woman. So history has come along and go, you know what, we'll just overwrite this with a more sophisticated barman. No, because then what happened, so Toby garnished it with a uh, slice of lemon this is the most oh, genius Jonty part is of so it all. Now, don't tell I me. mean, this guy has basically come in and it's like potting the uh, the eight ball in pool when you haven't potted any of the other balls because he's gone. Um, the bartender is called Dale De, De Groff, who's written quite a few books, and he's come in and gone, nope, get rid of that garnish, and he puts in the flaming orange. So he's just done like the icing on the cake. Got you. And that is the history of the Cosmopolitan. That's a long one, that. Right, let's do the drink. So you are going to need absolute citron, you're going to need contro, you are going to need cranberry, and you're going to need freshly squeezed lime juice. Lovely. Ready to roll? Yes. Excellent. So we're going to take our vodka, vodka and you're going to put a double measure. So 50 ml of vodka, of citron vodka I should say into your tinny. You're then going to take, oh, oh dear, making noises. I don't want to believe you, but the citron vodka does actually make a difference. <laughs> yeah, if you want a proper Cosmo, you need citron. 25 ml of Contra. And then this is where, when you go out and have a Cosmo, that they go wrong because they put loads and loads of cranberry juice in and that's why it looks really pink and sickly. That's why it looks which nice. Is why George, which is why Georgie <laughs> likes it. But if you want to do a proper con um, Cosmopolitan, awesome. you want equal parts of these two ingredients. 
That's the trick. So we're going to put in 20 mil. So a little bit under a shot. That's mean. That's mean, I guess. When you make it for Georgia, you need to add more. Yeah. And I happily add more lime as well. Add more lime. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you like having it with uh, absolute lime. Yeah. Right. Slice the lime in half. So same amount of lime. I'm going to need more lime than that. You are going to need more lime. Boom. And that is all our ingredients. That's all you need. Nice and easy cocktail, this one. Take your ass. Get your tinny tin. Give it a whack. And smile and shake. Boom. I should pass the shaking over to you someday, George. No, thank you. Say as I'm doing it. I'll just do the, uh, the tasting part. Martini glass. It's not a martini glass. So <laughs> <laughs> after like my long one. lecture, nice using one. more of a coupe glass. But obviously, you can serve it in whatever you like. You can even serve it on the rocks if you really want to. But it's not how it's normally done. Double strain. To get the eye out. So, you see, you should have quite a light. What colour is that? Well, kind of a heavy blush, I don't know. Uh, well, it, it is a pink, so that, that's yeah, a pink. Yeah, but it's not like a real it's not a... garish pink, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's not hot pink. It's a pleasant pink. Okay. And then you're going to take the orange. And take the orange and hide it so we can't see. Hide it. <laughs> hide the orange. <laughs> take a bit of peel. And this is where it depends on the orange as to how much flair you get. And nice. pop it in. And that's it. That is how you make a cosmopolitan. Lovely. Chin chin. Chin chin. Oh, Cosmo goodness. <laughs> right, don't forget to like, subscribe, notify, bells, bell. whistles, ring a ding dings. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Bye. See you next time.